Live from the KGO TV Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News. Exactly one year ago, the ABC 7 News I team exposed a former Lake Tahoe bartender who scammed people by pretending to be a Navy SEAL. Today in northern Arkansas, U.S. Marshals arrested 57-year-old A.J. Dickin in the town of Garfield on a weapons charge. He now faces extradition back to Nevada. And Dan Noyes is here now with a follow-up. Well, Dan and Carolyn, among all the phony Navy SEALs I've investigated, A.J. Dickin tops the list. He got the most money out of people using those fake stories. And right now, he's in an Arkansas County Jail. U.S. Marshals arrested A.J. Dickin outside a home in Garfield, Arkansas, on a warrant from Nevada. The charge, possession of a firearm by a felon. As I reported one year ago, Dickin has convictions for burglary, receiving stolen property, and child concealing. Mr. Dickens was out front of the residence. Uh, he was getting ready to take the children to school. Everything uh, uh, went smoothly. It's Valentine's Day. It doesn't get any better than that. Retired Navy SEAL Don Shipley was thrilled by Dickens' arrest. He helped out on our first reports. Shipley spends much of his time exposing the fakes using this SEAL database. He told me by Skype from his Chesapeake, Virginia home, the FBI is also working the case. The FBI had done a lot of work. They sat right at this very desk, two agents, for uh, over two hours with me going over it. And they're very thorough. They're going to cross the T's and dot the I's and build that case. The lead detective from the Carson City Sheriff's Office told me last year's I-Team reports played a role in his investigation. We showed Dickon firing all sorts of weapons on videos he made of training classes he held in Carson City. He convinced these doctors to invest heavily in that business and in a security firm Dickon launched to get contracts from the United Nations. How much money did you give A.J. Dickon? 375000 How about you, Brian? I'm in about the same amount. Almost $400,000? Yes. And I introduced you to a documentary producer who paid Dickin $50,000 for his life story, based on claims that he's the most decorated Navy SEAL in history who made one high-profile kill. He was the one that actually shot Osama bin Laden. And you bought that? No. that I, I knew that this was a charade at that point. There was no question about it. I need to talk to you about your about your Navy SEAL background. I don't have a Navy SEAL background. You told a lot of people that, didn't you? No, I did not. As the pressure mounted on Dickon, he hit the road, and we were able to track him down last year at his mother's house in Southern California. You have a line of people who are claiming that you scammed them out of a lot of money. No. Investigators tell me that's part of the FBI's case. By the way, Dickens' wife also has an arrest warrant in Carson City for contempt of court. She failed to provide a judge with proof that her dog had been fixed. Dan Carroll. All right, good work, Dan. Thanks.